Hey guys, it's Georgie here with all your news about all the most important things, like Steve Harrington's here on Stranger Things. Geordie Shaw's Aaron Chalmers is busy gearing up for his MMA fight tomorrow night, so ahead of the big day, we caught up with him about what his goals are, why he loves it, how to know when to stop. And it's not when you get knocked out, which is what I thought it was. My biggest MMA achievement was just getting in there for my first fight and doing it for me. My biggest MMA goal for 2018 is to just keep fighting, seeing how far I can go, and most of all, like I always say, just enjoying myself. One tip I would give someone who's gonna start MMA is just have fun with it. As long as you're enjoying it, like I am, then keep doing it. When it starts becoming a job or a chore and you don't enjoy it, that's when it's time to give up. Selena Gomez has wished Taylor Swift a big old happy birthday, the only real, authentic way someone can these days. On Instagram, the singer posted a cute little video of the pair to her casual 131 million followers with the caption, I'm glad you were born. You write all the thoughts some aren't able to articulate. Me. Thank you for giving a voice to this world that is authentic and inspiring. I wish some knew how big your heart actually is. It's fierce, bold, and freaking wild with light. I'm glad you protect that. Love you, Taylor Swift. Oh, cute. I don't think I received a message that kind on my birthday from any of my friends. So I'm gonna unfollow them all on Insta. Meanwhile, Carly Kloss also posted a pic of the pair with the caption, happy, happy birthday, Taylor Swift. This comes after some very tenuous rumors that the pair were maybe fighting, but this post clearly proves that they're still great mates. Because if it's on Instagram, it must be true. Joe Carey, aka Steve Harrington from Stranger Things, aka my future husband, might shave off his hair, which is frankly more devastating than that awful moment when the final credits rolled in the last episode and you realize you finally had to prize yourself from the crumb line sofa and actually get a life. Yep, the joint best character on the show, tied with Max and Dustin, has said that if David Harbour, aka Hopper, wins a Golden Globe, he'd shave off his hair, which makes no sense at all, but there we go. Joe commented on Harbour's Instagram thanking the Globes for the nomination, saying, if you win, David, the Duffers get to shave shave my head. What a waste. All that beautiful hair gone after we finally found out his beauty routine. Fabergé Organics use the shampoo and conditioner and when your hair is damp, it's not wet okay, it's damp, do four puffs of the Farrah Fawcett spray. Okay, I'm about to give a spoiler but honestly if you think that you can still get upset about a spoiler a whole one and a half months on, you need to check yourself. Anyway, not all is lost because as the last episode proved, Dustin is more than ready to take over the mantle of very impressive hair. Also, I'm in the market for some Farrah Fawcett spray so Joe, if you're listening, just send any leftovers my way please, thank you. And also send your number. That's all from me. Now the MTV team are off to go and have an entire day of Christmas partying. So good luck getting any news tomorrow.